the G Way Podcast with Deacon Dirty. What are some of the tips or advice that you give to? Is it a couples thing, or are you a one-on-one kind, you know, type of uh, love coach? So I'm actually both and. Um, I do couples and I do uh, singles. So uh, and those who are seeking in a relationship but not married as well. Those coming out of divorce. So I deal with all uh, six phases of love. So within a marriage, for something that started to reveal itself or unpack itself, what are what what are the things that you're saying to them or types of advice or suggestions? So one of the main things that I normally suggest for the relationship is kind of, even if you're in it and having serious troubles, to go back to some of the foundational teachers, teachings I have on singleness. Okay. Uh, because a great single makes a great partner. Um, a subpar single makes a subpar partner. And a, the more you can get in the self-love bubble, the more you can learn to love yourself, the more you can appreciate yourself, the more you can appreciate who you are, what you believe in, what you stand for, your core values, things that are very core and, and fundamental to being, mm-hmm. then you actually end up making a better partner just off a of GP. You know, you gotcha. end up doing it because it's, it. <laughs> I, I say seven steps as well, um, but the phases of love go from singleness all the way into marriage and then divorce would be the, the last one that we uh, try to avoid. Mm-hmm. But understanding that every phase before it, the, I say that the singleness phase is your selfishness phase. It's your ability to love yourself, learn yourself, know what you mm-hmm. want, know what you don't want. So if you're already in a, in a marriage, you got to go back to that and really figure out what it is that you want. Those things can change. Those things okay. can adapt. Those things can grow. And so really doing some work around self. Uh, but then in your dating phase, you figure out what you want from someone else. You figure yeah. out what you need from someone else to make you happy. You're already in marriage. You, you already passed that part. So you got to figure out what about them you can accept. Because I learned a long time ago that love is not so much about what you like about a person. Because honestly, you can find any, anything to like about someone. Right, right. It's about what you don't like but can handle. And learning uh, what about your partner that made you fall in love with them? What about mm-hmm. them that you appreciate? And learning what gets on your last nerve. <laughs> and when you identify those things, again, accepting them, calling them out, you're able to mm-hmm. better deal with them. Then if you move into the relationship phase, relationship is learning your power of commitment. Okay. Because you've been single and dating. So those two phases are, are not much about the other person, honestly. Dating is more about you getting to know what you want. And singleness is about knowing who you are and loving it. Mm-hmm. So it's not until the relationship phase that you are really committing your energy, your time, your effort, your full attention to someone else. Mm-hmm. And that requires commitment. Yeah. And learning to be committed to another individual in the, your everyday life is a completely new task. It's a different muscle to flex. Yeah. And that's why relationships are so important. This is why I discourage fast engagements and fast marriages, because I say it takes time to do that. And last piece is engagement. When you learn how it is to live with somebody, to be with somebody, to be closer with somebody, to start having titles that are more meaningful with somebody. Mm -hmm. And that time is so precious too. So if somebody's coming to me for relationship uh, counseling, we're going back through the very beginning and we're starting from scratch to figure out where is the where are the missing pieces so that we can build better. A lot of people just want to focus on, well, what is the relationship like? But no, no, no. What is your personal life, your individual life like right. so that we can better determine how you fit together?